experiencing goosebumps into my skull. <laughs> like, I, I just, like, I felt it here in the arms and it just went, whoop. <laughs> Welcome to the Throga channel. My name is Richard, and this is my best buddy in the whole world, oh, come Johnny on. Cummings. Oh, oh, oh. We're friends. <laughs> Richard, you got a friend in me, and I know I did that on the live yesterday. But that's okay because this is going to be released whenever. They're going to be at least so. a week apart. Yeah, we're trying to fit them in when and where we can. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the channel. Today we have a very special day. Well, they're all special. They are special. Because they're with but you. This, well, this is, is a specialist, getting, though. This is becoming quite the bromance episode here. <laughs> <laughs> Enough about you. We are here for Soi, Soi Hang. Soi Hang. Soi, Soi, Soi Hang. Han. Yes. Yep. So we did a live covering, we did three songs. We did Bridge Over Troubled Waters, Lean On Me, and a third, and oh no, it started with an A, Error. Er, er, it wasn't English, so I'm going to give okay. myself a pass <laughs> yep. on that one. We, we did, did three, three songs. songs. She's amazing. So we yeah, are back to do awesome. more. We're only going to do one today, and I'm sure she's going to, we're going to find our way into a reaction Wednesday at some point with her. Um this is I Have Nothing, which is kind of a big song. Kind of a big song, yeah. It's uh, not But she is more than up to her. the challenge. <laughs> this yeah. is one of those songs where my students are like, oh, I have an audition coming up. You know, I'm going to do a Whitney Houston song. I'm like, <sighs> I love you. I think that taking on challenges is really good. good idea to grow and learn from, but maybe a little <laughs> let's realistic generally goals speaking are, are realistic too. goals are valuable because you want to you want to accentuate the skill sets you have now while learning and challenging yourself beyond that mm -hmm. that will not be the case today i am sure so i'm excited <laughs> nope. uh johnny yes please like and subscribe and ring that bell so you always know what content we have coming out next Yes, and if you haven't been here before, welcome. Uh, we do have many supporters and members on the link in the description below. If you go to buymeacoffee.com, you can buy us a coffee and get extra perks and all that stuff and help us grow here on YouTube. You can also go to throga.com to check out our voice. What are these called? It's the vocal gym. <laughs> The vocal gym, yeah. <laughs> it's the vocal gym, not the voice gym. I I created it. I should know yeah. the title, but... Well, you can change it if you want to. <laughs> this That's is true, the, too. As the inventor, I can reinvent it. It's the voice gym now. Uh, no, go to throga.com to check out our online courses if you're curious about singing and the voice and learn how to sing better than you do now. That is the premise of training. I'm babbling on. <laughs> Let's get on. I know. It. I'm the, I'm excited. I'm like filling. Okay. I don't know why I'm filling the space. Let's just jump into it. I can't wait for this. I do need to keep the filter. This is a, a TV show and who knows copyright issues. We have lots of copyright issues on this channel. So we do our best to dodge them. Let's check it out. Okay. doing pro moves immediately like, going back to what i was saying earlier with my students when they do take on any song and i do have some singers i you know that can definitely take on this song but generally speaking it's a tough audition piece making it your own first line in she's putting these long pauses just adjusting the phrasing just a little bit and then we're hearing the engine rev right it's got like that breathiness get just a tease of the chest voice power then right back down just because we know where she can go based on hearing the other songs. But immediately the brain is going, okay, I'm not going to compare this to Whitney's version. 
because she's right. letting you know we're going in this direction right now. This is my version. And I tell my students all the time, sing it as if you wrote it. Try try yeah. to create it in a way that that enhances or highlights the aspects that you do best. And it's so important to shift the listener in a new direction. Otherwise, you sit there the whole time going like, well, Whitney did this and, da -da -da, and then and then you're not enjoying it. So she's also purposely like, right away. yeah, she's also purposely like staying behind the beat a little bit. She's that's kind of a pro, almost like cocky thing to do. It's just like, I got this so well that I'm just going to I'm just going to toy with the time. And like, there's so much trust in what the band's doing. She's like, right, you know. But totally not. So keep in mind when this when the subtitles get translated, that can come across very negative. So Johnny's not saying that she is cocky in any way. No, <laughs> no, it, it, like a like a confidence. Let's say yes, confidence. yes, yes, yes. Because right. we know you know we've read the comments and everything. She's like super humble and sweet and, and everything else, of course. But I've noticed that with like lost in translation, some of those keywords. Yeah, can, well. can come across negative. <laughs> no, this is just trust. Absolute yeah, it's just trust like, with the song. It's almost like she's just got like a little wink, just like I'm so good that I'm just gonna toy with this a little bit. I just exactly, <laughs> she's flirting with the song in a way yeah. that's just again making it her own. Right. And I think it keeps it exciting for the band too because they have to respond to her. There's like this chemistry that's going well. They happen. just got to keep the train rolling. They got to they got to stay focused on what they're doing. And just, <laughs> just know that she's gonna bring it around. That's yeah. true. That's true. Richard, I have nothing if I don't have this performance. <laughs> right? I don't recall when I had hair experiencing we had goosebumps, a lot of hair too. Experiencing goosebumps into my skull. <laughs> like I just like I felt it here in the arms and it just went whoop. <laughs> just like felt it all the way up into my head. Skull bumps. Is that a <laughs> is that a non hair thing? I don't recall. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Tingly, the tingly is in the your, tingles, in your scalp. but it was like goosebumps right up to the top like, of my head. I like skull bumps. I like it's that. Definitely skull bump performance. Yeah, it's you know, it's like going back to this like confidence thing. I mean, she's got when you see her perform, she's got all the makings of just like the the classic diva. You know, it's just like there's the confidence, just the control, the command over the audience and there's over the song, and to know that she's super humble is so cool because it reminds me of like. You know, like Beyonce has her alter ego where she's, she's kind Sasha. of quiet and like, yeah, Sasha. So like, and you know, she has that analogy of just, you know, it's like switching the light on. It's just like, here I am. And when I'm on stage, I'm this beast. And that's, you know, Backstage, and that's what she's, she's doing. quiet and more. Yeah. And that's so cool because some, some divas, I don't want to mention any names. But some divas are divas on stage all the time. and all the time. <laughs> and it gets to be a bit much. <clears throat> yeah. Oh God, beautiful. such a beautiful, you yeah. know, keep going.
We're pre-recorded. I'm going to bleep that. I gave myself permission to swear. I was going to say, holy shnikes. <laughs> We're not live. I'm taking advantage of it. You're just cooler. How many keys did she... Isn't there just like well, a... Well, that's go... the thing. That's, that's the thing. This song has one key change. Like Does it? Like it, it, it modulates <laughs> one time. And that that's like the impressive thing about it. Historically, that's been the impressive thing about it is it's like... You're going to this next level when you think like she's at her end, but she <laughs> does it twice. It's so good. Uh, let's hear that. And, and uh, if you could sh explain what she does there, or what, what the band does, obviously, along with her, I, it, it's not. I'm just gonna say this again. It's easy to get impressed by range. It gives you the skull bumps and like all that stuff. But the tone, it's it. <laughs> The tone, the the energy, the impact, everything around those moments are just so purposely, per perfectly purposely placed. I like uh, how you said that. <laughs> but the tone. <laughs> <laughs> you I went too, back too far. So this is, yep. That's fine. The original key was big left. Okay. Love that choice. Is that normally the only key change? Yes. In the I whole think song. So. <clears throat> yeah. So that goes up is it just a half step at that point? Uh that goes up um full step. Wait, where was she? Uh you said A minor? So it was in A flat uh a flat, major. Okay. Alright. So that when she goes to the chord, she's going to a D flat chord, the four chord. And then the second change. 
then she goes up to uh, the key of B, and this is the this is an E chord. Uh, so so from here to B, so it's up three steps: one, two, three, and that's the typical change oh, sorry. for a song. Yes, yes, yeah, three yeah, yeah. steps. Yeah. Okay, e, I mean not where she went vocally, and then she threw in the ah, whatever that was. <laughs> right. With such uh, power, piercing power. Yeah. And that would have been enough. Yeah, usually that's the showstopper moment. Yeah, and that's plenty. With that song. <laughs> right, let's keep listening from there again. Don't make me blue. So we're going from where to where. So we're in B to begin with. Yeah. So uh, let's see. So that would be. So that's that's another. That's that's a whole step up. So that's where we landed. So so she stepped it. Right. She kind of stepped it up in that way. Uh, yeah, so she goes key wise. The... I, mean, I know that that wasn't her actual yes. melody there, right? <sighs> what <laughs> it, it, it gives it a little bit of like what Jennifer Holiday would do with it. Um, she's the one. She's original for um, uh, Dream Girls. In oh, you might be more familiar with Jennifer Hudson's version. Uh, you know, right. it's like yeah. super dramatic. These huge because she's really good at having a little bit of that gospel feel. Okay. That we heard in the yeah. other song, so it kind of mm. has that flair, that influence here, which is great. Yeah, at first I thought you were mispronouncing Jennifer Hudson's name. I'm like, that's really off. <laughs> <laughs> Not that anyone would <laughs> be surprised. <laughs> be surprised. Yeah. All right. times did you hold your breath there i was like there was moments i, I couldn't <laughs> it's so suspenseful can we talk it... about her voice first for a second too just like <laughs> not that we haven't been talking about her more <laughs> like the the tonality and like no no no, no. it's the tone <laughs> but the joke no it's the vibrato is like perfect i just i love how it's just the right amount the of cadence. Like, yeah. Yeah. So, so the amplitude, the sharp and flat averages with the speed, just it's, it's the it, perfect speed is the perfect, like distance, you know, like, yeah, at least wise. for this song. And I remember her going even more exaggerated. So she's got some control over that when she was doing more of the, even more like the gospel -y type delivery. Mm -hmm. Like it gets even expanded, if you will. Yeah, well there was moments in this song where it was like she purposely slowed it down and it was perfect for that moment. Exactly. But but man, yeah, just total control. She's with the yeah, she's tone. 
<laughs> you just, the way you said that the first time was just great. Uh, I'm looking forward to not watching back that moment. <laughs> <laughs> Range, everything. So we have a lot more songs that has been suggested for us to watch. And we will oblige. We will we, surely no, oblige. for you. Not for us. Not because we're interested in hearing more, but, you know, because you asked. <laughs> we're benevolent giving people, and this is for you. Yeah, I'm, we're going to watch more. And I'm going to go back and watch the few that we have, because that's the only thing that sucks about doing reaction videos, is, like, when you find artists that you want to dig in further, faster, it's like, no, like, a little at a time. It's just... Yep. Pace it out, and then you could buy the albums, you know, after and and re-listen and everything. And that's what I ended up doing um, with other artists, and I will continue to do so, of course. That is it for today. Short and sweet, but thank you for... Well, it wasn't really that short, but it was sweet. It seemed... It went by in a flash. It It really did. So, yeah. Amazing. Tell us what to do next, and we will be back. Thank you for joining us. Where's our outro button? Mm -hmm. There it is. We hope you all had a good time. Leave your likes and comments. We appreciate your coffees. If you are buying, we are drinking. Yes, we are. Yes. So have an amazing day. We love you all. We'll see you next time. Love you, make me, make me. You are my missing pieces. My missing pieces, Johnny. Got to tie off the bromance taking place here. <laughs> oh, it's so disgustingly sweet. Ha, ha, ha.